Fracking? What the hell is that? <laughs> Fracking is a method of drilling for natural gas that releases harmful toxins, up to 900 chemicals in fact, as well as methane into water supplies, and that could happen to New York City and the rest of New York State if we don't stop it right, right now. Hydraulic fracturing or fracking is a controversial method of extracting gas deep underground by injecting water mixed with chemicals, many of them toxic. The gas companies claim it's safe and good for the economy, but many believe it's just too dangerous. People across the country have already started to ban fracking, but here in New York, we can actually stop it before it starts. Fracking is a very dangerous procedure created by gas companies to mine natural gas from the ground which uses harmful chemicals that end up in our water supply, which could damage us. We have reservoirs upstate that bring water down to the city, which is the most populated city in the entire country. My water comes from upstate, so them drilling upstate would affect me and my drinking water and the water I use to take showers. It's terrible. Like, I mean, they are drinking water. Everybody drinks water, so everybody uses water. We shower in it. What will happen if they frack in New York is millions of millions of people will lose their ability to get clean water out of their taps. And once you pollute an aquifer which is underground, you can never clean it up. It takes at least a hundred years for an aquifer to be cleaned up. I have a little house upstate and it's right on the edge of what they are proposing to be protected watershed area. The watershed is the water for New York City. And there's a reservoir very close that feeds the New York City houses and apartments. And last year there was a big flood and all those little waterways are very intricate and they all flowed into the reservoir and the reservoir ran brown. If fracking was taking place upstate, all the chemicals would have been washed right into the water system, right over where they grow all the crops and and into eventually the homes in New York. I don't see a difference between upstate and downstate. We, it's the same, it's the same land. If, if there's fracking upstate, and it will just come to us because our water, it comes from upstate. So if, they're, if they frack upstate, we will get fracked. We have such a large environmental uh, chain upstate that if there's fracking, it could probably cause an environmental collapse with all the trees and plants dying off we would have a disaster of state of the ecological kind. I, I really don't think we have anything to lose by, uh, by, by putting in a ban on, on fracking. We have everything to lose by letting it happen. We have our clean water to lose. We have our low water prices to lose. We have our beautiful state to lose. And we have nothing to gain by letting it happen. What these environmental groups are doing for you here, bringing your attention to the fact that your water is at risk here from this kind of industrialization. This is very, very polluting form of uh, drilling. What are we here to do? Ban fracking. What are we here to do? What are we here to do? fracking. We know that corporations don't have our best interests in mind. What are we going to do? Ban it. We know that the city's water comes from the Delaware River Basin that is supposed to be fracked. What are we going to do? I think we need to be the guardians of our state. We need to assure that they don't frack in New York, and we need to put pressure on Governor Cuomo, who, with a stroke of his pen, can stop fracking. Ultimately, we need to ban it. We need Governor Cuomo and our legislators to support a ban on fracking. Why would we allow these corporations to come anywhere near our water 
with a practice that is untested, proven to be dangerous, and could change the economic welfare of the city, not to mention the dire consequences for our environment that that would bring. We cannot let this happen under any set of circumstances. That it's really not worth just letting letting the companies just go throughout the whole United States and the world just doing like it's this magic bullet that's going to solve all the economy and to solve anything. It doesn't it doesn't solve the problem that we consume too much as a culture. There's no doubt that um, we are in a war, and it's a spiritual war. It's not a war over just land, it's a war over the entire spiritual um, movement of this nation. Water is too precious, it's already such a crisis in terms of water shortage, and people think the next wars will be over water. They've already kind of started out west already. These people, these frackers, they want to ruin us. They want to poison us and they want to leave. And they're going to leave us in ruins when they do, and only a few people are going to get rich. Gas companies say that it's a safe way to do it, but it's really not because the chemicals they use is um, it's impossible to clean it after it's fracked. And if it gets to water, we're done. There's no way we could filter it. I wouldn't live here because like, it's like dangerous to even turn on water. And who knows what could happen. We have plenty of forms of state. If the animals and plants absorb the water or drink it, then in that case, we would, uh, those animals and plants would get infected. And those plants go not only to New York City, but to other towns and cities around the country. I think there should be a law to prevent that because it's dangerous to us and it shouldn't be allowed to be done. And keep talking to the Republican state senators because most of them are the ones that want fracking upstate who seem to think you can boo them. Who seem to think that the few jobs that might be created is worth risking the water supply for New York State forever. We have to tell them no fracking way. No fracking way! No fracking way! No fracking way! So keep the fight, and we're not going to give up till we ban hydrofracking in New York State. Well, a place after a drilling decay would probably be mostly a wasteland. I doubt any plants could live with the water that's been contaminated, or any animals, or any people. So what do we, we have to do? We have to catch up, that's right. <laughs> We gotta bring more people here. This is good, but we need a lot more people here, yeah. right? So after today, I want your commitment to go out and talk to five, or ten people, and make every one of you, and make sure not just that you talk to them about fracking, but that you get a commitment from them to come to the next one of these, because there will be a next one of these. Because the truth is, the truth is, you're in the majority. We have a moratorium right now. But the moratorium is expiring, and our state government is not listening to the majority. So what do you say now, huh? Come on! No fracking way! Oh, not on my land! No fracking way! I'm talking to you, man! Don't frack with me! And I won't frack with you! Go frack yourself!